morning guys welcome back or welcome if you've never been here before i'm courtney and most people say i make makeup videos or i make lifestyle videos i'm a mess um welcome i know i look like a train wreck i was gonna wait until tomorrow and like get ready for all of this but i really want to show you guys the stuff now so you're getting this from me so just don't mind it i'm not gonna babble too much in this video but just really quickly i I told myself I was going to go really hard at the Dollar Tree because there's a lot of things I like there. There's just staples for me in there and I refuse to buy them anywhere else and I haven't been for a while. So I told myself I was getting so much. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted a haul and everybody said yes. Lots of people said yes. So that's what we're here doing. Um, just to preface, like I said, we're out of a lot of stuff. So it's a lot of home stuff, like hygiene stuff and stuff like that. Um, and my youngest son, Liam, he's about to turn two in a couple of weeks. So I got some birthday stuff as well. I'm not going to show you guys this stuff in any particular order. I'm just going to grab it out of the bag. To be honest with you, I kind of black out in there and throw everything in my cart. I did go to two different Dollar Trees because the first one wasn't the best, but I still spent $50 in there. And then the next Dollar Tree, I spent $15. So we're talking a $65 Dollar Tree haul. That's insane because remember, everything's a dollar. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to dump a bag out and then show you everything because I don't, I, you guys don't want to hear the bags crinkling. This is fun because I don't know what I bought. Okay, I'm just going to grab at random 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 prepare yourself for that this magnet is so cute i don't ever buy magnets i don't like to have stuff on my fridge but this one is like it's meant for me it says be a kind human it's black and white it is so 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 cute so i had to get it it just it's gonna look so cute on my fridge i just i needed it it's it's a waste of a dollar kind of but like it's okay and then the next thing are these little bags that fit in your bathroom trash can, which I never buy these ever at Walmart. They're very expensive, like $4. So I grabbed this. It's vanilla scented, but I didn't really, there was a bunch of different scents. I just wanted them because they were the white ones. So we'll see if they actually smell like vanilla. And then I bought a bunch of these placards for a different you're gonna you guys are gonna be like you're insane i well of course i floss my teeth twice a day and i would normally just get one bag but you guys these colors were so cute that i got all three of them and these are gonna last me forever so i mean there's 60 in this pack and then there's 35 in each of these and ben and i both use them like twice a day so we'll go through them but it's fine and then I kind of bought this with those in mind, actually. It's just like a little jar. I figured I could put those flossers in this jar if it actually opens. Is it not supposed to really, does it not open? Okay, um, if I can get this open, I'll probably put those little placards in there, I'm not sure. I'm telling you guys this is random i would never normally buy this i've never seen it before but i love la's totally awesome anything from the dollar tree and this is dish soap it's gigantic i'm not sure how good it smells or how well it works but it smells okay it smells like nothing really but we'll see if if this works it will last me forever Okay, moving on, I got garlic powder. I buy seasonings from there a lot, especially pepper, but I forgot it. Pepper is the cheapest at the Dollar Tree, so random, fun fact. Um, garlic powder, we were just out of that, and then this is tiny, but it'll work for now. It's just toilet bowl cleaner. I was out and I needed some. I wanted to get toilet brushes for each room, but again, I forgot, so we just got this. I like to use the Lysol. I feel like it works better than any of the other brands. So that's, oh, that's not one bag. And then I got a thing of Crest 3D White. I have toothpaste now, but I just like to keep those as backup. Moving on to the next bag. Okay, the next bag has sunglasses. They look like they're for little kids, but I have a weird shaped face and no sunglasses look good on me. So why not get the Dollar Tree ones? And then my kids play with these so much. I got them for Christmas, like, um, I got three of them and I don't know what happened to all of them. They play with these every day. They're like water wows, except for this is the girly one, but it doesn't really matter to me. It's just butterflies and 
probably princesses and stuff. No, it's not even that girly. Like unicorns. It shows all the different things in the back, but these are like uh, Melissa and Doug water wells, if you know what I'm talking about, but they're not the best quality. I did get Liam an actual water well for his birthday, but I already know they're all going to fight over it, so I think they'll get really excited about this. If you see these at the Dollar Tree, great car ride, like toys for your kids, and they're just great. I'll show you all that together. Liam's little gift set, I'll show it to you as a whole. Um, I just got a little thing of Germex. I haven't seen actual Germex in so long. I just figured I'd clip this onto my keys or my purse or something. I have Germex everywhere. Well, hand sanitizer. Now I have actual Germex. Okay, so random. Um, nail brushes. I got this so I can keep this one in the shower to keep my fingernails clean because... They're, I just clean house all day so they get really dirty. The next thing, I have been looking for this everywhere. I found this at the second Dollar Tree and I wanted to get more than one, but um, my arms were full because I didn't get a cart or a basket. It's an aroma diffuser, so it's just battery operated and you just put essential oils in it. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet, but it's that's so good for a dollar. It's of course tiny and it's not going to be super um, strong, but... Holy crap, I cannot even believe I found this. I'm I'm really excited about this. The next thing is dryer balls. I know you can get these anywhere and I see them there all the time. I always use dryer sheets and you can use these instead of dryer sheets. And if I can avoid dryer sheets and spending extra money on dryer sheets, why would I not? Um, my my oldest, my oldest older twin, he has um, severe eczema he has for his whole life. And I try to use unscented things when I can. So if I can avoid dryer sheets, this is probably better for him. And I got a grasshopper. My kids love their little toy animals and they had all of them except for a grasshopper. So I just grabbed that. Um, by the way, I also got three rolls of wrapping paper. I'm not sure I'm going to need all of these, but I just, Liam's going to have like a blue themed birthday. He's not going to have a part, like a huge, he's not going to have a party at all because we're very far away from family, but I still want to decorate for him a little bit. So I just got white, a dark blue, which kind of looks purple and then like a lighter blue. Okay, moving on. I got this blue tablecloth. I'm not sure if it's going to fit on my table. My table is pretty long, so I'm hoping it will fit just, just to spruce up the kitchen a little bit for his birthday and then he's obsessed with sharks right now i don't know what the deal is whales and sharks and fish he loves it all so that's where the blue is coming from i bought this little shark gift bag i'm not even sure what i'm gonna put in it yet but i know that he will love it so i'll find something to put it even if they go even if i have to go buy something to put in it i know that he'll enjoy that Apparently I got two things of toothpaste. It's never bad to have a stock up of toothpaste. And then I bought bandages because we go through band-aids so fast in our house. Do you guys? Like right now I have a cut really bad on my finger. I'm not going to show it to you in case it makes you guys cringe. I've had gauze, a little piece of gauze on it, wrap, and then wrap my finger up with tape for like the last two days because we were out of band-aids, which... If you're a mom, you shouldn't run out of band-aids. It's just like one of those things you need to have in your house always for if it's for your kids or for yourself. This next bag is packed full of light bulbs, basically. It's a huge, it was a huge bag. It's just packed full of light bulbs because I refuse. I refuse to buy light bulbs anywhere else because they can be like double, triple the cost that they are at the Dollar Tree. And y'all, I found a two pack of light bulbs, which is insane. I've never seen these there before. So I got one, two three packs which i could have easily got more than that i don't know why i only got three packs but i did they're just the led sunbeam warm white light bulbs i need to replace so many i don't know why i only got three packs but i did and then moving on i got these light bulbs they're like a vanity light bulbs to put in your bathroom we have a huge mirrors in our bathroom and then four of these lights above and they're out in almost all of the rooms so i got one two three four i don't know how many are out so hopefully no more than four i also got some just sandwich bags these are good to have and we've been out of all ziploc bags for a very long time and then i just got some dial white soap i'm trying to avoid using like bath and body work soap right now i don't know if it's the weather but my skin's been so dry and itchy that i'm trying to avoid using super scented stuff so i'm gonna just try these for a Ooh, did you hear that i'm gonna just try this soap for a little bit and see if it makes my skin less itchy i don't know what the deal is 
I got hair ties, just these are just like the Dollar Tree ones. They work just fine and my hair ties go, I don't know where they go, but I needed more. I just got this number two, happy birthday candle for Liam for his birthday. Sponges, These, this pack's not the cutest thing in the world, but I love the Scrub Buddies um, sponges from the Dollar Tree. I also love the Scrub Buddies like magic erasers and I was gonna get a ton of them to stock up, but they were out of them. These are just car fresheners. I'm not sure how well they are going to work. They're vanilla scented and there's three in there. I don't know if I already said that. It says scratch and sniff, let's see. Doesn't smell like anything, but anyway. Ben and I, my husband and I have been sharing a car and he got himself a truck. So now it's mine and I can make it smell girly if I want. I already have like a glitter steering wheel cover on it. I was just excited to put something in there that smells girly. <laughs> Look at what I found. Robbing alcohol. I haven't seen this in so long. I need to like revamp my first aid kit and I figured we would start with rubbing alcohol and new bandages. This is, oh, this is leaking everywhere. Woo, buddy. I got just some Panasonic batteries. This is just AAA. We just needed some. I'll just throw them in the junk drawer. And then what is this? Oh, razors. Another thing just to have a nice like they're not nice but good to have as a backup in your bathroom sink under your bathroom sink just in case you need one so um those were big and i never see that brand at the dollar tree so i just grabbed them just to have and then these i thought were pretty cool i think my kids are really gonna enjoy these they are like word cards but they're already filled out and they have a picture on them my kids love reading things and like labeling them off so i'm gonna um play with these with them i think they're really gonna like it i've never seen anything like that before my kids love these truckles from the dollar tree they are way more expensive than a dollar everywhere else so every time i go to the dollar tree i just like to grab a couple of bags for them and then i got a couple of birthday cards just for a couple birthdays coming up liam included and always buy your cards at the dollar tree because they're two for a dollar and let me tell you ben bought me a valentine's day card on valentine's day obviously and it was seven dollars fifty cents seven dollars for a card i would never i cringe every time i see somebody buying cards at like target or walmart and i'm just thinking don't do that don't do that but they do it anyway you probably do it don't do it don't do it and then I got this little pom-pom garland also for Liam. Again, we're not going to decorate super crazy. I'm just going to get balloons and put the tablecloth out and that little garland. That's I don't know why I didn't get a happy, ba bur happy birthday banner, but I didn't. I don't know why. These that I'm about to show you are so stinking cute. I know they're going to go really fast from the Dollar Tree. Let me just open them and show you how stinking cute they are. I have three kids, if you didn't know and easter is like a month and a half away but how cute are these little treat sacks every year for easter i go above and beyond and i'm thinking this year i'm going to keep it very minimal i'm not going to go overboard so if you're like waiting for my extravagant overboard over the top what i got my kids for easter video that's probably not going to happen this year it's going to be very very minimal but i figured these would be cute just with some little treats in there and then you like close its ears with some twine it's they're just so stinking cute don't mind my nails by the way they're trash moving on i got this cute little sign it's a little tacky but it'll work every bunny welcome i like to keep a seasonal sign above my oven in my kitchen that's where ovens are and i haven't found very cute ones at target or walmart that are like you know not 20 dollars. so i figured this would just be cute just to have up until easter I don't know it was kind of cute and moving on to this one i'm sure if you guys are in dollar tree groups or if you follow dollar tree hauls and things that people are really looking for these are apparently a hot item a hot ticket item a hot a ticket i don't know what i'm trying to say these little gnomes they had blue purple and pink i just opted in for this little guy he's so so cute i got out of line because i seen them and i was like i have to go grab one of them i figured this would just look cute on my tiered tray so 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 stinking cute i kind of regret not getting them all three to be honest with you anyway i got to check out and she's like oh you got one and i was like yeah she's like people are going crazy for those and then in my head i was thinking 
dang i really should have got the other two colors but how freaking cute so so cute i love him okay and then moving on to like liam part of liam's gift is i'm gonna make him like a shark gift basket it's gonna be shark themed blue themed so it's not gonna be fully revolved around sharks but you guys Dollar Tree had nothing shark in there. I was so disappointed. I, I feel like I always see shark stuff in there, but at both Dollar Trees, that's why I went to the second one. They had nothing in their toy section that was shark. So I will show you what I did get. We're gonna put it in this cute little basket. I figured um, this would be reusable for something. I don't know what, but we will figure out. I got him these little white cheddar popcorners. I, he'll eat anything pretty much. So I figured we would just throw those in there. And then also, Fluffy stuff, cotton candy. He's never had this before. He's had like cotton candy, I think like maybe on the 4th of July or something, but I don't think he's had actual, I don't know. I don't know if he has. And then little mini chips ahoy. A baby shark cup. I wasn't gonna make it like baby shark theme, but he likes baby sharks. So I figured we would do that. He's been trying to get a ball at every store we go to. So I figured that would be perfect. And then I got him a little pack of Oreos. This is going to be so cute. And then I got these at checkout. They're like little kids sunglasses. They're blue, of course. And then this was the only shark thing I could find in there, which he'll still love it because he loves to doodle. It's a notebook, but it has sharks all over it. I had to snatch it up because there was, like I said, nothing else in there. I was very disappointed that I didn't find a bunch, but um, I also got him like a baby shark book from Marshalls and I got him a water wow, which is shark related or shark themed. So I think it's gonna end up looking really cute. I wanna get him maybe a little stuffed shark or some shark tattoos or stickers. And um, yeah, I think he'll be really happy about this, so. I just need to spruce it up with other things that aren't from the Dollar Tree, but you guys, that's it. That's it? That's That does not feel like $65. I guess tax, but like, I don't feel like I showed you guys very much, but we have been here for 20 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think of everything. My favorite thing from this haul is definitely that gnome. I was also looking for cookbooks there, but I had zero luck finding those. There wasn't anything too phenomenal there this time but i still feel like i found some good stuff um my kids are going crazy out there so i'm gonna go ahead and end this and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys